X has got a worse pen than Puck. Yeah, I'm saying as soon as other people started dropping drill songs after one four did it, I knew I was like, nah, it's, it's gonna, gonna go up. Again. Everyone's gonna love it, and then it's gonna boom. Do you think that was Kanye West at the game's concert? <laughs> no. What's good, guys? Welcome back to the World of Us podcast presented by Ever Defining, recorded at Six Degree Studios. I'm Kay Lisa. What's good? It's Bill's 90. D-E-A-D, skin insane. And today we are joined by a special guest. Yes, sir. My brother. The big dog. Imperial Collective producer. Man of many talents. OG. OG, OG. Used to crump back in the days. Ooh. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> I can tell by his knees. Yeah, we got my brother Bane 4K in the building. 4K? Ooh, 4K, baby. 4K. Big dog. We finally, we finally made it. Yes, yeah, sir. We made it Been waiting made for it a happen. fucking minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. Facts, facts, bro. Well, welcome welcome to uh, the World Vice podcast. I mean, you've been here multiple times while we've been yes. doing it, but to be officially a guest on the episode. Yeah, absolutely, man, because I'm always in the back just... Kicking it, watching it in the live audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost yeah. face color, real shit. Yeah. <laughs> With the rest shadows, of our audience. Shadows and shit. Yeah. Uh, you know, almost the full team again. No Gene, unfortunately. He I'm wasn't able to be here. He's sick. Keegan's here. He's, he's uh, you know, on his recovery. He's, uh, he's always you know, on party, recovering. Right? Mm. Yeah, so um, shoes on and everything. High energy in the building because Queensland uh-huh, just won. Let's go, <laughs> baby. Yo, oh back. my Yo, to Lord. that person that owes me a peanut slab, hold my G. Bro, that was <laughs> a game. Yo, hey, to the, person, that, to the person that owes me dinner, Dan, you owe me dinner, brother. Oh, and dinner. dinner. Uh, <laughs> we're all winning. This game. Man, what a game. Crazy, game. bro. That, was that, was that, that whole energy <clears> game. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I lost my voice a little bit. Hey, that last scream, oh, bro. I, I got really I'm excited, sorry, bro. Straight up. I know. Sheesh. I know. Hey, yo, shout out to the Maroons, too, for using a bro song. Yeah, shout out to, Crazy. Shout out to the Maroons. Yeah, shout out to the Maroons. That was definitely Billy Slater's Top Boy. decision. Top, Top Boy was featured, bro, produced Top by my Boy. man right here, Bane 4K. You know, Steez on the track as yeah. well. Shout everything on IC. Yeah, everything on IC. Presu- uh, you know, me and Steez, produced yes, by Levine. Um... Yeah, shout out to more. Jed, shout out to Matt, produced yes, uh, on, on shout my name as well. So, Please appreciate wait on to Maroons. And oh, hey, shout, shout, out to, out. shout out to the Queensland Maroons for featuring so many like Queensland artists too. And for shout sure. out to all yeah, the yeah, other yeah. guys that were you for know, sure. also featured in uh, the reels and, and the videos that <clears> they did for the. It's the really cool media. to see, actually. Yeah. Like, that's actually a, a, a really cool highlight. Because yeah. you would not think about it. No, nah, bro. Like, the fact that they use it. Yeah, there was a lot of artists from the local scene that used Yeah, yeah well, like if, I you, see if you think about it, you know what I mean? Like, in terms of how the NBA is. To America is almost like how the NRL is to yeah. Australia, yeah. you yeah, know what I mean? Ass. So to be using music from here and, and you know, especially with hip hop and stuff like that is yeah. still waiting for that four K still waiting for that four K fucking halftime show. Yeah, yeah. yeah Even exactly. if it's on a little stage, bro, you still do it. Yeah. Hey, or a yeah. corporate box either or yeah, box bro, be- do it in the <laughs> corporate <laughs> box, bro. That'll be high. That will be holy that crap. Be that would be crazy. Bro, gonna bro free that. food and shit, that show will be hard, bro. Yeah, well, shout out to everyone that got featured because yeah. I know there's yeah, a lot sure. of people that a got featured. People. Bro, yeah. they all deserve it. You, yeah, yeah. Des- you deserve it too, bro. I uh, appreciate ass. it, bro. But yeah, everyone, everyone deserves it, and you know it's dope. And I know a lot more, a lot more um, artists here locally will be featured in in things like this moving forward. And it's it's just a big step forward for everyone, I think. So is this the first? Is this the first time that like they've used like local artists, or is it like a? I think I don't thing? know if they did it last year. I don't year? really, no, I don't I think really remember. I think, like I think at, at certain points they've used like Amul song. They used yep. um, my team, my team, mm-hmm. yep. which is I mean, bro, that's was that last year? Fitting. I think so. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I think even other NRL teams have. Uh, yeah, have used it. Yeah, but, uh, in terms of promo for games, like that's the first time I've yeah, it's the first seen time I've multiple seen artists from the city get used for, you know, yeah, for yeah, yeah. for that kind of thing. Yeah, there's multiple. Yeah, there's, like Steez, Knox was Nerve, in there. Yeah, Knox, Knox. Was in there. Maz, I oh, think as well. Too. I seen Maz. Maz. Oh yeah, yeah Maz, Maz and Nerve. Oh, Day one was used. Yes, he was. It, I think that was on the first. Was yeah. It game one? Yeah, yeah, 
If, if I forgot you, anyone, yeah. please excuse me if I forgot. And anyone. whoever whoever the plug is in there too, putting all these songs forward. Shout out yeah, to you. Yeah, shout out. Hey, yeah, shout out to the whole shout out to the whole social media team Appreciate that's you, uh, you know Appreciate running you the socials for Queens and Maroons. But yeah, um, you know a lot of subjects today, a lot of topics to get to. You know, I feel like a lot's been going on in the scene. Um, I guess we can touch on the first one, which is. Um, you know, T Pain's come out. You know, he's had some things to say. I think I got a clip for 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 what was said. Um, but it was T Pain on DJ Academics Twitch stream, and he had to say uh, he had this to say about Tupac. Imagine if if Instagram and Twitter was popping like it is now when Jay was doing his thing. That is true. Come on, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm Shit, saying? I, I imagine it, if, if Instagram and Twitter were popping, like when Pac was like beefing, like imagine how entertained that would have been. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like yeah, and this gonna be this gonna be some bullshit. And Pac would have got killed sooner. People gonna people gonna nah, not Pac Chill wouldn't out. have got. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Pac would have got killed sooner. Yes. And yeah. and yeah. And, yeah. and 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 he would have got his ass ate the fuck up. Lyric lyric lyric. What? Hey yo, <laughs> lyricism wise, Pac would have got fucking ridiculously murdered. By who? Because it's, Whoa, because by who? niggas out here for real, Be- bro. Pac was the crazy lyricist at our time because ain't nobody else have no platform. Imagine, imagine if if Instagram. And that's what T Pain had to say about Tupac. Dead ass. Mm. He can't say that. He can't say that? No, he I'm can't just say joking. that. Why can't. can't he say that? But he's saying no, real I'm shit, I'm just joking. Though. He can't say that. He's saying so real shit, though. Say. He's saying real shit, though. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Do you, do you, can you not say that because it's him? No, no, no. He can't. I was just uh, joking. Uh, okay, okay. It's an unpopular opinion, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, And and You would have got slayed by like young dudes today. Bro, you're really sticking your neck out I think when you say stuff like that. I think people have seen, like, for the most part, people have heard us and say this you know, like you've said, Tupac is overrated on this yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. That has nothing to do. That has nothing to do with this subject in particular. <laughs> but I think, I think, I think where we that if we say that, we know what that's leading to. Do you think Tupac is like ly- lyrically would not cannot hold up to a lot of people? Yep. Yes, yes, definitely. I agree. Yes, too. I, I think. So. Okay. I, yeah. Well, the, the only person that we don't know would. Like opinion wise But he Bane. would say the same thing He agrees as mm, well I agree But what What are your thoughts on it though Bane It's just changed eh? Like Even as a kid Like it's It's fully changed Like when I was a kid Obviously when you were a kid Bill was like Pac was a man But yeah. like, like years later I didn't even listen to Pac As much as I used to mm. So it's like Oh Actually <laughs> It's not as happy as we thought yeah. it was But you know At the time yeah <clears throat> It was pretty hectic Yeah I think I think people very like when it's when people say lyricism. I think if you're not in this lifestyle, or like you know, if you're not part of like really involving yourself in the culture of this, if you're part time, I think yeah. I think like when you think of lyricism, it's just like oh, they have lyrics that mean something. But it's like now when people say lyricism, they're saying like someone's ability to write is just that much better and delivers that much more substance and yeah dead ass is that much more potent than you know what what like is you know made to be seen from the inside looking out you know what i mean mm-hmm. the one the one the one that probably would have in my opinion that would have like probably stood his fucking ground is probably big l yeah, like Big L. That's the only one that I, I think, can say that. No, nah, there's oh, honestly, there's a lot that could have in that in that era yeah, in that alone. Era, in that lot. era alone, there's a lot more people yeah. more than they're, they're, they're on the east. <laughs> yeah, well, the east is the <laughs> like, east is the best. That's my the, thing. Is the mecca for hip hop. That's my so. thing for Biggie though. Like that's why I think for me, Biggie, Nas, Hove, Big L, Big L, Big L was harder than all. Big of them. pun. Mm. Like there's yeah, a lot. Pun, G. Nah, like, bro, know? I'm still I'm, like, I'm still sitting with my thing, bro. It doesn't remove it doesn't remove the their impact on nah, on, the, nah, 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 on nah, musical nah, nah, nah. hip hop. That's the same with Tupac. Tupac, Tupac too. Like to me, Tupac I'll, too. I'll always say it. Like <clears throat> I'll always say it, and I think that's why people find it like blasphemy when you say, "Oh, like Tupac is overrated," because like to me, I think the the face of hip hop 
and rap is Tupac. Yeah, 100%. for sure. Like, you think of hip-hop and you think Tupac. Like, yeah, for like sure. Like, straight away. It's like he is the face. He yeah, is like the, the image. The, the, the biggest. Bravado, he's everything. He's probably the biggest icon of what hip-hop is. Mm. Yeah. So when people will say he's overrated or he's not that lyrical, people just find it blasphemy. But it's not blasphemy. It's just, it's just, a smart it is way what it thinking. is. It's, like, it's you know. It's a smarter way of mm. thinking about it, bro. Yeah. Like, in my opinion. I'm not saying that. Like, the biggest rapper listen. in the world is not the most, like, is the crazy yeah, lyricist. For sure. You know, and the biggest not, rapper, like, whoever's going to sell the most records this year isn't the most lyrical. It's not. It doesn't mean you're less talented in any single way. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and it's not like me saying that like people that listen to Tupac are dumb. It's just like there's like you've said that. <laughs> That's why you've said that. Yeah, <laughs> you've said that. <laughs> you've said that. <laughs> but like the thing too is that like there's so many other lyrical rappers that are like that have done more for hip hop. Like, don't get me wrong. Like Tupac's fucking um, like view and everything is like so hard. But like there's other rappers that have done the multiple multiple syllable thing that have like bought multiple syllables to hip hop now, and you look at you look at rappers like hot rappers like right now. Well, probably not right now, but like big New York rappers and stuff, they do multiple syllables, and that's not from Tupac. That's from like you know Big Al, Pun, yeah. all these all these other people. Like a lot of people are taking stuff from Tupac, but I, I feel like that. Other rappers have done more for the hip hop scene than Tupac has done. Mm. Oh, I don't even, even think it's that even sounds bad. Yeah, too. because the th- yeah, because the thing is, is that Puck put like Puck like what Lee's was saying. Like Puck is the face of hip hop. When you think of hip hop, you think Tupac, and if you don't think Tupac, you think Biggie. Um, but the thing is, is that there's other rappers that are they may not have had the same impact that Puck had, but they're way better than them. Yeah, it did it. You know what I mean? And when you when you think about this conversation like objectively, I put it up on Facebook and like people were like laughing at it and I saw T Pain and 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 then I didn't watch it. Like that's all I saw. Like, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's like I I get it because people are fans of certain people. Like it's the same thing that I would say if if someone had, spoke badly about Lil Wayne. Yeah, you know what I mean, but yeah, at least I can. Your at least I can say, in. yeah. But at least I can say that from this year to this year, he was whack. Unlike Eminem you know I mean? fans about his uh, oh, about, no, their, about, their, about yeah. their favorite artist. But you still no. want the, but you still want the argument too. You still want the person to be like, why? You still want to ask that person like they think that so and so is better than so and so. You still want them to talk to you and be like, hey. And you're still gonna ask them the question, why? And then yeah, exactly, they, bro. And then most of them can't. And that's answer yeah, why. and that's that's where the issue lies with me all the time is because people are like, no, you can't say that, or no, you're wrong. Tupac was the man, and why this and that. And I'm like, yes, devil. okay, cool, but how? Yeah. Like, who who is he better than? Who who, you know, whose pen, you know, is it's, it's, is worse than his? Like, you you tell me. And then, like you know, if people would whose pen is worse than his? Out of out of the out of the out of like, are we talking now or back then? No, I'm talking about out of who is we he? deem at like you know. I'm not talking about like you know, not the obvious ones. Like, oh, so if we talk don't top say, five, don't say like, don't say like, oh, Tiger's got a lesser. Like we know, is he? but out of the iconic, like top five. Oh, now, now, out of just <clears> in general, like out of he? the solidified like hip hop. In contention as Easy the goats Dr. Dre. in the top fives and Easy the top Dr. Dre. Their pen is weak because but uh, Easy E I wouldn't even put up there. I wouldn't either. Yeah, because he, he's not a, he's not considered a top rapper in general. Like he wouldn't okay. be. He Everyone wouldn't knows be, he, he didn't write his top, stuff. He wouldn't be in a top fifty list. Okay, no. so who? Okay, I, I, I'll give you one right because to me this is oh, someone cute. that's very similar. That that is very similar. That I feel like has the same power and like presence and. Meaning to the like culture, but I'd say is like less lyrical in my personal opinion. Snoop, I wasn't gonna say Snoop. Uh, I was, no, I was, was, uh, a, I was just was trying a, to guess. DMX, Neither would I. Yeah. DMX. Yeah. X has got a worse pen than Puck. Yeah, I'm saying that's who I yep. see as similar. Oh no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I feel like yeah, way. what Puck was on the west, but, DMX was on the east. Yeah. So, so who would you say has a better pen out of DMX and Puck? Bro, that is so hard that's to that's say. That's a tough one, yeah. It is a tough one, right? Probably Puck. Because that's what I mean. Probably, it's like, bro, like, that's why, like, like 
it doesn't even really matter if someone says some like all these people are more lyrical than pop. Yeah. It's like, it's a presence. It's a feeling. It's an overwhelming yeah, sense for of, sure. it's like an overwhelming sense of presence. Yeah. And that's something that you just, like a lot of people, a big percentage of people, even the top of the top cannot have over a track. Yeah. And, but, like, and that's the thing is like, when you say Tupac, to people, they feel Tupac. Yeah, yeah, yeah You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They don't they know, felt, like, they, they don't, oh, yeah, I listen to, I listen to blah, blah, blah's it's music. The, like, they feel they Tupac. Bro, listen DMX to his too. interviews. Like, it's like, from what he does on an interview. Yeah. And then what he does on a track, it's like, everything is fully felt. Like, yeah, you know, bro. like, everything was much needed to get off his chest and to write and to deliver in a certain way was, like, the potency was how he delivered it. It wasn't what he said or how he said it. Yeah, it, it was, was the pain, bro. It was the, it was the honest yeah. sincereness yeah, was the pain, in his the voice struggle, and how the, he delivered it, you know? And that's field. why I think people will just be like, ah. Oh, that's why they resonate say, with yeah, Puck, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. Look that's at, why they resonate with And it's the same with thing it. with DMX. Yeah, for sure. You know, like... And that's why, that's why, like, you watch, like, Drink Champs. Like, I keep bringing it back to, like, Drink Champs. Like, one of the first... Qu one of the main questions is... is um, Tupac or fucking DMX, most people take a drink or one person will be like, nah, so and so. Yeah. Like, you get what I mean? But, like, in my personal opinion, I reckon Tupac had it over like DMX. In but terms then, of a pen? Yeah, yeah. But then I'm not on, like, I don't fuck with, like, like, I. <clears throat> DMX is hard, but I don't fuck with them. That's surprising. And I don't fuck yeah, with Tupac. That is and I don't fuck with I really Tupac. I thought you'd like DMX. And I don't fuck with Tupac. Bro, I even went back and listened to See, the fucking not like the blood joint. You not liking Tupac. Mm -hmm. It does not surprise mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you not really liking DMX mm -hmm. surprises mm -hmm. me a lot. It's just it's just too hard, bro. But then like the newer <laughs> shit, the newer shit was like too hard to listen to. But then the, oh, the yeah. newer <laughs> shit, the newer shit, I was just like, yeah, I get it. But then it's just I didn't even listen to his new stuff. Like it's it's no, it's don't. too off None the of it. it's too off the cold. Like I listen to like the Griselda joint, obviously on his new album and like the Jadakiss joint and like those sort of songs. And I was like, because I had to listen to it. But I was just like, and then I went back and listened to what is it? The one when he's in the bathtub with the blood. I blow, I flesh my flesh, blow my blood. Yeah, 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 and so many people like fucking, so many people rate that shit. But I was just like, nah. <laughs> it's like, don't get me wrong, like it's good, but it's just not <laughs> fucking on my kilter. I guess there's not much else to say about this subject. I think we're all in agreement on it. So, yeah. Puck was the man, by the way. He was. He was. He don't don't, don't get it confused. But don't he is heavily confused. overrated because of the pedestal that people hold him on. Yeah, his <laughs> people have such high reverence for Tupac because of the way he makes them feel. But then Pulse. they don't. But then, but then a lot of people don't delve into the real shit. They just see like nah, the top, and like the see top people. Tier thing. People don't rate rappers. Based on their content, bro. No, it's personal opinion. Yeah. Like, people will say, oh, no, this dude's the best rapper. Bro, there's 50 other rappers that are better than him. You know what I mean? Like, people... Yeah, just say and, and your favorite. Just and, say and your like, favorite. If you I think go, there's yeah, a difference between favorite and top five. If you go, like, bar for bar was some of these rap... Like, some people who are fans of these rappers who swear they're the top person. You're like, bro, I can... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can name a bar from someone who's not even in the top 20 that's better than that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Muhammad Ali was a better rapper than Tupac. Oh, I wouldn't go I that far. <laughs> Bro, have you not seen them? Let's move from this. Let's Gee, move from this. This is, <laughs> right. Tyson, let's move from this. This is ridiculous. Mark Tyson. What does he say? He says, this, um, is, this is something no, else. Bring that up. Bro, bring that. It, nah, yeah. This yeah is Muhammad Ali's up. rhymes are dad jokey, bro. Like, this is, um, that's why they're hard. This is also, I think this was also on the academics um, uh, Twitch stream. Oh, the bin chicken. This is what T Pain says about Drake. But now, mm -hmm. you know, because when I came out with I'm Sprung, like I'm Sprung is about falling for a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like being, being that, being that, being you that, that corny sound good, falling man. for a bitch. I'm in love with a stripper. You falling for a bitch in the club. Like I've always been that corny nigga. I've always been the simp nigga. I was Drake before Drake, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Hey. Like I was, I was you the was corny nigga. You were act. I was in love before niggas was really cool with being in love with bitches. I was I was always so he, yeah. he pretty much says that he was Drake before Drake. I you know what I I hear what Dead he's ass. saying. Dead ass. bro. Dead I was, ass. I, was I was heavy on T Pain like Epiphany, bro. 
crazy banger, album. Banger album. That album is nuts, bro. I, I can agree, but wouldn't we just still consider him a singer? Like an R&B singer? Nah, because he... Oh, well, yeah. But, but he did the... But that's he, what I mean. But he, he, rap, the, he raps... He did the rap He raps shit. on the on it, too. He did the rap Man, shit. Man, I got a thing for a girl that I don't even know. Everybody in the hood say she... A, but I don't think so. So even when it. he even when he raps, show me how. Even when he raps, is that fast, on that album as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when he raps fast on the remix of "I'm um, in love with the stripper" with like all the rappers and shit. She got the body of a girl. Like, Everybody know that. Yeah, yeah. I she know got the fingers, yeah. but it's so fat. Nah, but he that did. He hard, bro. The, it, it the is, difference is, is, is that is, he came out as a singer. Like it he. Is, it is melody. But he wasn't a, he wasn't a singer when he first came uh, out, bro. Before listen, that, listen, he was listen. a fucking rapper. Nah, but what made him pop was that he was a singer. Yeah, yeah listen, he left still, like nappy boys and shit. To me, I think he's the uh, uh, the originator of this of this era of the melody rap. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. you know what I mean? Like the young thug. The young thug. Yeah, like, and in order for it to become popular, someone's got to take the bullet for it. You yeah, know what I mean? And like, to me, took that bullet I don't know. Yeah. I guess if he didn't get hated on so much for the auto tune stuff, his career, like his popularity, sorry, would have lasted longer. But the broken sing too. Yeah, I can see where he's coming from, but to me, like I said, I, I, I no, nah, yeah, well, like yeah, I don't think he's Drake. I like, feel like no. it's, I don't feel like it's the same. Bro, like, no one is Drake, bro. Drake is Drake. Drake. But someone has to, someone, <laughs> someone has to sit, someone has to sit. The someone has to be the matriarch for that shit. Yeah, but, but it was, wasn't T Pain. T Pain was not the matriarch for Drake or patriarch. Sorry, it was more Kanye. Yeah, but without without um, without T Pain, Kanye wouldn't have used fucking auto. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but that so doesn't that's mean a he's a matriarch. Nah. Yeah, but that doesn't mean. Why you saying nah? That doesn't mean he was Drake because Drake. Yeah, nah. Like I get what you're saying. What you're saying is true. But it doesn't mean that he was Drake before Drake. Oh, no. Oh, no. uh, yeah, yeah. You know, know what I mean? mean? Yeah, 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 Like, yeah, I get, like, it, yeah, Kanye did that because T-Pain did that. But it doesn't yeah. mean that Drake wouldn't have, like, there was, doesn't mean there was a Drake before Drake. Nah, but I don't I think, think what he's saying in terms of being Drake before Drake is just the type of music he made. I made songs about girls, about falling in love. I was a simp dude. I was the... But it just seems so. But I don't like, think, it just seems so broad. Like literally, nah. Well, the thing is, that. is that it's like it's very clout chasey, bro. Like it's like Tupac could say that. Yeah, it's such an angry old head. <laughs> like, like, like you know no, what I mean? No, no, it's like, like nah. Tup- it's like a salty, yeah, salty yeah. old head. Right, Tupac comment. had. Tupac yeah. had. Lo- it's not like any other rapper never had a love song before. But T Pain's doing the Joe Budden thing. T Pain's doing the Joe Budden thing and just like throwing fucking mass shit out there. It's he's smart. Just Whatever like he's fucking, doing, he's yeah. he's been. Z- he's exactly. Been that's that's why we're talking lately. about it, bro. That's what we're yeah. talking You'll about. You'll find it. out too that he's he's dropping an album in a month. I don't know. See, <laughs> T Pain, the game, <laughs> right? Teddy Pinder has his down. game dropped. Oh no, nah, nah, it's just that single. Oh, it's really uh, soon. Fuck the game, bro. I play, we played it early, exclusive on one of us. By the way, yeah, we did. We played it early, early. When Gene was saying it was trash, and then he was like, Violence. a couple of weeks, oh, this is kind of hard. And then I had to timestamp and be like, it's mm. not. So this was trash. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not. Yeah. What do you mean? Okay, now he's changing. Yeah. When, it, we, when we played yeah. the, yeah, the yeah, leak, yeah. he's like, oh, yeah, this was hard. hard. Yeah. And now it's like trash. Yeah. It's this still guy. trash. It's still trash. It what do you nice. mean it's still trash? You said it was hard the first time you heard it. <laughs> it was nice. Are we talking about Westside Guns album or what? That was trash. Now you listen to it. <laughs> Are we well, talk wanna, about this? Don't you want to wait for Gene? Huh? Don't you want to wait for Gene? No, nah, because he didn't listen to it. No, he w- he was literally listening to it the other day. He's yeah. sick though, so he's absent. So, nah, it's all right. I know Gene's opinion. D? Yeah. What is it? He didn't like it. There you go. There's your review. It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh, yo, dead ass. Bro, there's like sucked, three Westside bro. Gun songs on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he. It was very uh, it was feature heavy. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Know. Yeah, is this is this, are we going to talk about it? Nah, I reckon. We, I mean, well, we may as well. Yeah. It sounds like I reckon. Gonna, it sounds like we're not going to do a review. If, who, this who, is who, the quick review. Who was this album put out through? I didn't even know you just Griselda album. Nah, I think it was put out on his own shit. Yeah. One. Oh, okay, nah, so, so then he kind of he kind of been fulfilling obligations because nah, that's so, what it felt yeah. like. Like, so what happened was is it was brought out on Fly God and. With the Fly God mixtapes, there's a few of them. Some of them are hit and miss, in my opinion. When I heard this, it was too abstract for me. And that's what I feel like the Fly God albums are. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And it's just like every second one is probably hard, but this was not the hard one. 
Like there was production by like you know like Madlib, yeah, yeah. but like Madlib and shit. But it was just too, it was too broken. The one, yeah, hard. The one good song was probably um, "Horses and Sun," and that was produced by Derringer. Aren't they on tour? Isn't he on tour? I think so, probably. From what I heard, majority of it was made on tour. I'm not gonna lie, I can I, tell. I can tell. I listened to like two songs. That, that, Without the skipping first, The first two were That fir- that second one was like An eight minute song Yeah I listened yeah. to like The first two without skipping And then the rest I just like Listened to But then the skip, features are, The features are crazy bro Like like Huss Huss Kingpin or something Like he's fucking hard bro And these two the These, these two new dudes That are coming up That are gonna be hard bro But it's just It was too abstract bro I just don't think That's what Griselda fans Exactly Are there for yet But it was I think, I think it had to be but it, it just, wasn't a Griselda album, there's bro. Too many que- there's too many question marks over everything that's going on there. Yeah. Like, I yeah. told you already, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it feels like they're trying to just do stuff like to... Like, they're doing... They're, they're, they're doing gone. stuff to, to uh, what do you call it, like, deflect. Yeah, but they've... Yeah, that's what I mean. They've gone in their separate paths. Like, yeah. it's quite clear there's just no real communication between but, any of them anymore. But yeah. Like, Benny's doing his thing with BSF. Yeah. Conway's doing his thing with drum work. Yeah. And... You know, Flag Westside or, is trying to redo Griselda to find who, like, the new member, like, not the new members, but the new right. signing. And there's just no communication between all of them. And they're all just trying to find their feet on this mm. new endeavor. On their own. But this is a new Griselda. But this is a new Griselda. But for in sure. saying that, too, have you listened to all of the Fly God mixtapes? No, 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 no. So, like, so like with the Fly God mixtapes, it was like the first couple were like super hard, cause, but then it got to a certain point when he was like going super abstract and like how you said it was just like, you know, he's like the ODB shit, which is like super fire. But like if you listen to him to a certain point, like it's too abstract for it to be consumable. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's just like, um, like, I get the whole broken beat thing. Like, you know, that's cool. Like, so many people have done it. Like, you know, like, long fucking, long, uh, what is it? Long samples, bro, no beat. But the thing is, is that, like, with those long samples and long beats, you can only talk for so long. And you have to, like, sp- at least spit on the second half of, like, that shit. Mm. But, like, with this one, it was just, like, drawn out. And the, and the whole, every song was drawn out f- for you to like wait for like a super bar, but it was just fucking nothing. <laughs> was it like yeah. any bro, was it like just sample heavy? Bro, bro it was sample heavy, bro. Yeah. But it was more like it, it was, was only more, samples. But it was, but it was, yeah, bro. There was, it wasn't, it wasn't broken. It wasn't, it wasn't bro. like heavy. Oh but then the last, Lord. there was like one song that was like uh, what su- uh, sons by like horses, and that was produced by Derringer, and that was that one feel that you get. You're like, yeah, sweet. That's ha, how he has writes. has the sound lost its effect on Dead people? Dead ass. His like, sound has that sound. No, has, yeah, has, the has, sound. No, 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 no. Westside Gun sound has lost. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No. No, no, I want to no, say. I, I want to yeah. say the full sound. Nah. Has it lost? Has it lost its effect on? No, people? because nah. Conway's album was actually r- ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't you don't think it's lost its effect on it's, people? Oh. His shit has. No, no, no. See, I, I'm not saying. Uh, like, nah, the I know people, what you're saying. Listen, listen, shit, listen, bro. listen. The people that love it are gonna love it. Like, yeah, it's yeah, not gonna. Yeah. It's not like it's lost its effect on us, but it gradually taking over in, and trickling into mainstream. Other, yeah, yeah, you know, like has it has it lost its desire for someone like a Drake or a Cole to either jump on those type of records with them or implement that in their own way in their own music too. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I like, like that effect. I, I, feel like, I feel like the fans are going to love it, but like, I feel like... No, but the sound in general, not that if album. There's, the if sound. There's, the, nah, because it's a... But, but the thing too is with the Fly God joints. No, like, no, not the album. That, the whole sound of what gr- that... Like, like what Griselda what, does. Like oh, what nah. Westside does, what Conway does, what... Nah. On those beats... No, we're still on. We're still on. No, but I'm not listening to what I'm no, saying. No, I'm telling you, brother. we're still on. We're still on. Yeah, but you're not listen. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay, we're gonna love it. We, us, we're fans. everyone that's already fans yeah. of that sound. But it was starting to get to a place where it was growing that a J Cole wanted to jump on a track with Benny. Yeah, that a Drake wanted to jump on a track with uh, with Benny. Yeah, that Fuck you know both, but yeah. Kanye wanted to get mm. Griselda over. Right, yeah. all these mainstream artists was gravitating towards the sound. 
has it lost that effect to gain that momentum that more it was going to get implemented more into a larger scale of artists? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I feel like they had the opportunity to take their sound and give it more reach because of the connections they were tapping into, which could kind of lead into our next convo, but I think all the drama and whatever's happening with them, all that tension or whatever. It slowed down the it's the, it slowed it down because the they're unable the to work together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever whatever's going like, on, I don't know what's happening or that's whatever. That's what you have but to re- we're not saying it's dying out or people are not gonna ru- the the core fan the core people fan. People are always gonna love it, yeah. Always gonna love it. But it was getting to this place where like people were tapping into it. You know, where it's like Kanye was coming, Drake was, you know, like we were at a stage where like Hove was gonna come, in my opinion. You know, and he yeah, did, he yeah, did yeah, a song, yeah, yeah. but he didn't go into that sound. Yeah, but no, I think to me, it w- to me, it's starting to trend down. Where yeah, I think you're right. You know, like those bigger artists are just kind of like not gravitating towards it anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean. Yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Conway's still fucking selection? hard. Hey. Do you reckon it also could be beat selection of some of the songs? I don't know. I think it's just that, if, like, are we was the next topic about drill music? No, 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 no. I was thinking that. about well, I could, Conway and um, Funk Flex. Oh, okay. No, nah, well, I was going to talk about this. Because that's one of the things that Fun- Funk Flex talks about. This was meant but to be. But can we answer Bane's question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait there. What did you say? Beat selection? That's what. That's. But. In saying that too, bro, with like that last joint that we were talking about, I feel like it's not beat selection. It's more like the way the album was put together because you can have beat selection and they're like, like look at Action Bronson, like his beat selection is absolutely wild, but he still brings it in. I'd say that's abstract too, but it's just done way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah. abstract sounding sample. Like it's mm. very... Like off kilted mm. in in the sample, so it's like it feels bro, these like these dudes are like children of MF Doom, bro. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and to Doom me, did it better, but yeah. And to me, like that's what, what, like I think it's the predictability in it, and that's what was gonna lead yeah, you down. Because you're yeah, very that's much what you're talking about. I know, yeah, yeah, I, I know, know what, what you, you say with this next topic yeah. that I'm gonna bring up, and mm. it wasn't original. It was actually meant for last week, but it's us. The drill music. It's so, like the beat, the production is so predictable now. Oh yeah, and I I it's feel like it's slidey. I feel like it's losing its effect. It's but still, check out. But boom. still, check out what we saying. It should be out now. What we what we saying? What we saying is out right now. Shout out to Steve. Shout out to Bill. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of drill music, yeah, yeah, I yeah, ain't even of that. <laughs> it's a, it's the sound. But this is this is what um this is what Joe Budden had to say about drill music. Fuck Joe Budden. Nobody, you got the shortest of windows. That <laughs> over, okay. What you think What's next? Y'all, y'all can go keep dancing with Eric Adams if you want. That it's over, buddy. In the next five, six years, might not be that long. I know, yeah, it might not be. That long. I know, but I, the writing is on the wall. That what, but again, so what, and that's, what? that's government issued writing, that's not Joe. That's not oh, yeah. Joe. That's oh, yeah. government yeah, issued yeah. writing. Don't don't start hitting me mad at me. I'm just telling you what I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. And if and if you're an artist and you're looking at it, you you should be thinking else elsewhere as well. Mm-hmm. They're not playing with y'all. The top now. I don't even. So he's basically saying that drill music is about to be finished within the next within the next five to six years. Bro, not even five to six years. Well, bro. that's what they were saying too. And and Joe, I think five. To six, uh, I think five to six years is like heaps. Yeah, 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 I, f- yeah, I feel like that's too long. I think the only drill that'll um that'll last longer is UK. Like, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they've because that's that's it's style. authentic to them. You it's know? a it's a it, it's a fucking movement, bro. With the with this shit, it's just like it's seeped into the like the charts and stuff. So I don't think it's gonna be like fucking big for like fucking a really long time. Someone done a drill song. Is there anyone in Chicago really do? I mean, I know Little nah, Dot comes from someone there, done a drill song recently, yeah, but their drill was different. And yeah, and like they, s- uh, I don't know who yeah, it is, yeah. but they sound exactly like a five year. What a mainstream artist! Yeah, I can't remember who it is. How recent, bro? Like I was listening to it the other day. It wasn't the the Leroy song with five year. No, nah, it wasn't five year. It was um, 
Oh, uh, bro, I can't you're not, saying, you're not thinking of French Montana? Nah. No, no, no. Is no, he no. a New York artist? I can't. I honestly can't remember, but I listened to it, and I was like, it just sounds like five years, and then I turned it off. Yeah. Oh, I, no. Actually, sorry. I know who it is now. It was, I was watching the Joe Budden podcast. <laughs> no, no, no. And, and it was Arsenal. He's a battle rapper. Oh, and, and he, he did, did a drill. He, he did a drill track, song. and it sounded just like five years, bro. Like his flow and everything. Like just that. The, the whole, whole and I was like, to the be whole, honest, and I was like, oh, nah. Church. To be honest, Arsenal should just do battle rap. He shouldn't do something. Nah, he shouldn't even battle. <laughs> 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 Heavy Dragon Balls like Goku, that shit was hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Ars- yeah, yeah. It's the one line, eh? It is what it is. <laughs> I, I think, I think, it, it, to me, and, 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 and like I said, I don't have anything against like drill music. Of course I don't. Like, I really I just do, don't. I do, bro. I don't have me anything. Drill got a tough. I don't have anything against drill music because to me it's like it's evolved in many ways, and you know, like I don't know, I don't know where it leads to, but I just definitely see the decline in the popularity mm. and and like the. Sorry, yeah, sorry. I don't have a problem with drill music. I have a problem with drill culture. Yeah. That's that's Australian the, drill. Facts. That's bro. Yeah, Any Australian drill, drill sucks. to me, okay, like I I like the drill. The, like I I listen to when drill. First originated, which is Chicago, which is Chief Key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, Slim Bill Jesus. Reese, you know, Bill yeah, B, like <laughs> this guy says Slim, Slim Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, Bibby, you it's know what I mean? Bibby. And Some like, yeah, 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 you know, Bibby. like I, I appreciated it then, you know, and I know we know where it came from and where it started from and what it was built on. And, you know, like to me, my favorite version of drill has been the New York drill sound. And I, I like it because it's, that more flamboyant swaggy and that's what i you know that's what i try to try to do with my you know deliverings on mm. drill tracks yeah, tra- change the change the 808 slide though hey yeah like for but it's just in terms of lyrics in in terms of oh, me yeah, yeah, and that's what i liked with new york drillers it's very flamboyant it's very mm. it's very you know show off and you know get swaggy on the, on the track and kind of just flex on it. You know mm. what I mean? And that was my favorite version of it. And it's not to take away from any other like interpretation of it from, you know, Chicago or UK or Australian drill, but that's just the drill music that I took to, you know? And I, like I said, I don't have a problem with drill music at all, but um, I definitely do think it's on the decline of yeah, you know, for sure. being a popular sound. And I, and I think too, like that was, Predictable, maybe like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like I, I called it from from the get go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like as soon as as soon as popular. other people started dropping, like especially over here, as soon as other people started dropping drill songs after One Four did it, I knew I was like, nah, it's gonna. Be this is gonna. It's gonna go up. Again. Everyone's gonna love it, and then it's gonna boom. It just One sounds, Four it sounds the same to this very day. It's one Four hard. Day. Yeah, it's all it's all the same, bro. Same videos, same everything. Yeah. Australian, mm. Australian, Australian drill. Do they? They don't use the eight oh eight slide that way. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's drill. It's just that's drill. drill. It's just drill in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just drill with all the action. But, oh yeah. To me, you know what surprised me is that it outlived the whole. I mean, maybe, maybe it's I don't know, but like, I just I am surprised it outlived the the baby Jetson sound. Yeah, that yeah. production. The boom, boom, boom. boom. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, I know like, what I'm really surprised that that, boom, it, boom, boom, you know, because to me they're just as predictable as one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. terms of production, yeah, yeah, I feel sweet. But sweet. I'm very surprised that it outlived it, and it, and it, like, the mainstream took to it more than, like, they took you know the why, bro? More than the <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> they, the what they take, they people take to drill more because of what surrounds it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the the baby sound, nothing. There's nothing that carries that other than the songs itself. Yeah. Whereas, drill has a whole culture behind it. Yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. I and I feel like that's why people attach to it because they're like, it's it's more than just the music. It's a whole wave of something. You know. And um, and saying that too, like, do you reckon that like all the shit that's happening in certain places? Is because of drill music because like back in the day you you listen to like rap and stuff, 
and people are like talking about gats and shit, but you'll never see that shit over here. But then you see like all these other things that are happening, like um not gonna say the exact words because there's some um, uh anyway. I wanna stop. Um, no, well, yeah, I, think uh, you've, I think so. You've like, so like, question, reckon, so like, do you reckon that like fucking drill made drill music made some drill music made like people fucking do certain things because they're listening to the music when if that music wasn't around and they wouldn't listen to like that the driller shit that stuff wouldn't happen to certain people. Like, you know how, like, fucking there's a lot, like, there's some stuff yeah, going I think on. You've, I think you've asked your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've sorry, question. sorry. But do, do yeah, you decipher that? Everyone understands. Can you just decipher that? You asked the question twice. Yeah, 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 yeah but you get what I mean, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Like, no, it, well, I think we knew from the, the jump anyway because... Yeah, is it because of the music or is it, but is it like, all these people are trying to, like, hype up to, like, this music square? I think it's... Just because it's a sensitive topic, like... We all knew where you were going with the question before you even asked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I mean, um, shucks. I mean, there's been a lot of talk. We, we've been. But you're never hearing around honest, that shit like fucking like five years ago, bro. You know, like if we're being honest, mean? there's a lot of like people, like a lot of us in here, are collecting our thoughts. Obviously, recently, you yeah. know, I think maybe you could weigh on it, weigh in on. It more bills on what happened on the weekend, but obviously want to send out condolences and prayers and thoughts. Yeah, condolences. yeah for and sure. Um, no, 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 no. But we just, you know, we always want to do it's that, you know. Yeah. yeah. But um, I'm not. I I don't want to speak on it because I don't fully know the deep. You know, like I kind of was made aware of it through our group chat. Yeah. Mm. So I mean, on my on like on the way up here, I was like, okay, well, obviously we're gonna be talking about this situation. And the truth is, like, I don't really want to. Like, you know what I mean? It's like you don't want to, but you almost feel the need to address it because so it's I was like... I trying to, like, figure out how I was going to say it. It's, it's, it's the elephant in the room in every room you step in when it comes to sitting with rappers yep. from this country. You know what I mean? That's if you're sitting with rappers from this country and stuff like this happens... It's it's the thing in the room that no one wants to talk about. Yeah, no one's addressing it at all. It's nah, it's and silent. the <laughs> bro. But then, in saying that too, like people were talking about guns, like what, like for like the best part of our lives. And but like, that and yeah, and, like, that's that's American rappers. Yeah, but you get what I mean though. And then there's like yeah, but and that re- that that here. resonates that resonates with American dudes. Yeah, like yeah. you, they, bro. There's dudes getting killed over there. Every day, shootings every day. Like, but you as know, soon as, as soon as Drill like came here, like, did it sort of make like the youngins like different? Because it felt like it, it's it been changed. Like that forever, bro. It felt, but bro, bro, to be honest, like, I've never seen, I've never heard of any of these things happening up until a certain time, bro. It's because the the reason why is because it's it, it's only just become popular. Like, before we carry on with talking about it, like Lisa was saying, we just want to send our condolences to the family. Um, yeah, yes. Of the the, the young man the who fam. who lost his life, um, and to the bro that did it over the weekend, and yeah, to, and, and to, to the, the family bro, and to of the bro that did it, all, like, all that like, affected, like that yeah, whole, that whole everyone that was a hectic. part of that situation, bro. You know, um, just want to like legit send out our love, our prayers, our condolences to just to everyone that was involved in that situation. Um, and I think it's a this is a bigger conversation than even just. That isolated situation alone, mm. you know what I mean? Because there's certain things you could take from it, and like I was saying on my way up here, I didn't really want to talk about it. Reason being because when you find out something like this happens, immediately you take to it, eh? And the funny thing is, is because like I'm always against this stuff. Like I'm always like, bro, why? Like you know, everybody's against it, bro. Nah, but people ain't. That's that, and that's the issue. The people that need to be against it ain't against it, and that's why I say, when it comes to addressing an issue, people won't do it because they know they're a part of the problem. And the the reason why I say that is because, bro, legit, I watched the video. Right, <clears throat> there's a video of this, by the way, that's floating around on the internet, which is which is crazy, bro, because people like the family, 
ha- they don't have to, but they, you know, it's available for them to s- watch over and over and over and over again. That video would have circulated on TikTok before the family would have even known about it, you know what I mean? And so I saw the video. As soon as I watched it, bro, I regretted watching it instantly. It made me feel sick. The reason why is because I felt like by watching it, I became part of the problem. You know what I mean? Not because not because I feel responsible for what had happened, but because of the culture that surrounds those type of issues, that type of music, by consuming that, I'm, I'm therefore part of the problem. And it's almost like we live in such a numbed society or, you know, a society where people have lack of care for life even, that people can watch that and be like, oh, nah, he shouldn't have, you know what I mean? He shouldn't have done this or he shouldn't have done that or his mate's an idiot, he should have shouldn't, you know, and, and you can isolate the situation as much as you want. And and when it comes to this whole drill culture and stuff, it's not like, for me personally, right, these are just my individual thoughts. I'm not sitting here trying to find someone to blame, you know what I mean, and be like, yo, drill, this is your fault that this happened to this kid or that this keeps happening to kids. I'm not looking for someone to blame, bro. The, the, the thing that needs to be highlighted or addressed is like, okay, these situations keep happening. Obviously, it's become a lot more popular. Who's responsible for doing something about it? And the conversation comes about like, oh, yeah, you know, but parents raise children and stuff like that. Least, and if I, can use, if I can use my, my own life as an example, I grew up in a good home, had both my parents at home, my parents are firm believers in Jesus. I see their lives transform from one thing to another, you know, from something totally terrible to something totally amazing. And I grew up in South Auckland. I still carried a screwdriver to school. Why? Because I looked around, I saw the streets, I saw people getting stabbed on buses, people having fights, getting hammered in the head, you know. When I was 15, one of my mates got beaten up so bad that he passed away. Um... You know, one of my mates when I was 14 stabbed another kid. That kid died. You know, all this all this kind of stuff happens. And, and for us to sit and think that, oh, no, nah, that's, that's the parents' fault because they don't raise their kids right or rah, 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 rah. A lot of it, I feel like, is based on fear, bro. You know what I mean? Like, when it comes to altercations and stuff like that, people are scared and... I feel like when it comes to rap music, we need to flex how cool we are. We need to flex how strong we are, how tough we are. And I don't want to just highlight music, you know what I mean? Even culturally, you got to be tough, bro. Like, if, if, yeah. if, you, if someone steps you out and you don't get into that fight, you're soft. You're not smart. It's You're soft. The, it's the yeah, same I seen. I, it's the same I seen. The um. I seen a lot of people. You know, mention. You know, the whole idea of the whole fist up thing, and I, I'm curious to see what what you guys <laughs> think about that too. You know, like because what is it? You know, it's like it's like, like put like, the weapons down. Put yeah, your fists up. It's, it's just not like, like that anymore. No, but he, but is it worth? Still, is it even worth? That's not, bro. Even, you people know, are still dying from getting punched in the head. Yeah, one punch. One punch kills. You know, like yeah, but like. If you think about it too, like, I'm not justifying anything, but, like, back in the day, bro, like, I know, like, fucking, not me, because I'm a little bitch. Sorry, I'm a little <laughs> fucking, I can't fight. But, like, my dad, bro, my dad, bro, like, my dad and my uncles and shit, they've told me stories of, like, them knocking a dude out, picking him up, sitting him on the fucking chair, Sitting him like at the at the pub, them having a scrap, ha- them picking him up, sitting him on the chair, buying him a beer, and that's it done. But then after this, but like, but like now it's just like, oh, they're gonna ring their homies, and there's gonna be like a carload like ready. Mm. Like you get what I mean? And it's not like that, bro. Like back in the day, it was just like, yo, you square up and it's fucking fire. Well, yeah. that's between certain people because other people, it's just like you know they're gonna come bring an axe and like chop your head off. But like, like you get what I mean? I, I, you know, like I still grow up in that, even though I can't fight. It's just still like, yo, once it's done, it's, it's such done. A, G. It's, it's such a deep, it's such a deep Very subject. Touching. Cause like, yeah. you know, what Bills are saying is, you know, it is, 
you know, just the environment. You know, to me, the environment is definitely changing, for sure, for sure. Like, you know, I, I think, you know, like I always said to myself, if I lived in the U.S., of course I'd have a gun. Mm. You know, and it's like, so for to. me... And that's crazy, for me, bro. Like, like here, here, I've never thought I'd have to walk around with a knife. Like, mm. you're, you're, yeah. you being in, in, in Auckland is a different experience to me being in Brisbane. But that's me saying I didn't feel like I needed to have a knife. Yeah. I definitely was with people... That felt like for them, they them personally, they felt like they needed to have a knife. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But I do feel like there's this atmosphere coming where it's like you need to carry a knife because someone else is carrying a knife. Yeah. Like to and me, that's even, exactly though, it, bro. even though I knew people that carried a knife, I didn't feel like like that was my friends that had like, but I didn't feel like any any and everyone had it on them. Like I knew yeah, there was yeah, a certain yeah. I knew there was a certain lifestyle there yeah. that made them feel the need to have that for a certain situation that probably I wouldn't even be involved in. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the crazy thing is, is that with more and more of these videos surfacing, even with what happened um at the Sydney Easter show, you know, with yeah, two dudes young, getting stabbed, those, one those of them guns. one of them dying. Mm. Um when people see videos like that, they feel like, damn, uh, everywhere I go, I've got to take a knife with me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because, because, and it's funny, bro, because, like, I'll put a status up or, like, I'll add something on my story on Instagram, bro, and people will message me and, like, we'll have dialogue back and forth. And ultimately, all their thing is, is, like, yeah, but that's just what i got to do now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and... That's the saddest thing, bro. But what what I want to get to a point to, or like, I, w- I wanted to get to a place where the, what do you call it? The most influential people that surround this whole culture need to speak up and change something about it. You know what I mean? Because it, it's... It's one thing to speak on a certain subject and say, that's just how I was raised. That's how I was brought up. That's my background. That's why I make these kind of songs. But when there's loss of life surrounding the culture that you're so heavily championing, you have to sit, or at least there has to be a conversation of like, gee, surely we got to change something about this. Mm, But rather than have that conversation... When something like this happens, people turn their heads. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. And see, the thing about it is, is when you go this this direction, where it's like, you know, when people feel like they're the target of blame, mm. they usually will just sit on the sidelines for a bit. Yeah. And then, you know, it will, this will cool off and it will feel like it's not a problem. Yeah. And we will all forget and a bunch of music will come out. Mm. But, you know, in my opinion, like, I, I know, if, like, if we can't eradicate war, you know, mm. like if, if 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 Russia is bombing Ukraine right now mm. in this day and age, and we can't eradicate war, then we can't eradicate violence. But that doesn't mean that we're not all responsible for what is for at sure. play. Yeah. And to me, it's like okay. if you promote it, you promote it. Like you I'm not, yeah, I you're picking a side. I can't say, but to me, it's all, just like To me, all I wish for is like, like for instance, right. Because we could compare this to like the early hip hops and rap, and you know the gang culture that they were talking about with you know how NWA was a target and things of this nature, mm. right? And people would be like, "Well, why aren't you?" You're you know, inciting like, violence. Yeah, like it's the stuff. same thing. But to me, as you see people's like arcs develop and who Dr. Dre is and who Ice Cube, and this is why I said hip hop needs the room to mature. It does, bro. Because look at who they become. Because to me, like. Someone like a Dr. Dre and someone like I is so far removed from, from that lifestyle, that person right? that they were yeah, when they were they 17, were. 18. Yeah, exactly. So to me, it's like world. if you don't if you don't do it now and you don't choose to promote something now, that's fine. But I I do believe that we need to allow the room for those people to grow, and it might not be today, it not might not be tomorrow, it might be years from now. But I do believe that things will rest on someone's heart and conscious enough to eventually develop that over time. But I do think if it's within your capacity 
that you know that this isn't your full lifestyle and this is not the only thing that you can promote about who you are. Because, like, someone like Schoolboy Q, right? Mm. Crip. You know, like, straight up Crip. But straight up one of the funniest dudes Mm. in the rap game, right? You don't, like, it's not his whole embodiment of who he is, is being a Crip. Mm. You don't think Schoolboy Q and think the only thing he is is a Crip. Yeah, Whereas a lot of these dog. drill artists, you That's think of them, and all really you are. think of is them being a drill yeah. artist. And they go out and they do this thing day in, day out. They come home and wake up and do the same thing over again. When the truth is, that is not what That's not the case. Look like, at you. Right? I want, like, <laughs> if you're it. able to promote something, like, I get it. If this is your lifestyle, it's your lifestyle. I'm not chan- tell it like, you are your own man. You live by your own rules. It, 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 it is what it is, but if you can promote something else mm. that you are 100% interested in, yeah, I feel like you need to allow your space to grow in that world too. Like someone yeah, like Sp- sure. someone like Spanion? Yeah, yeah, Bro, yeah, look yeah. at the world he's created outside of yeah. what that, like the, the podcast, like what he's doing with it, like him doing all these food tours and bro, he's like, a big role model to a lot of people and for mm. good reason. Like, I don't think what you've done or your past should ever define you yeah, in, no, in not any at all. sort of way sure, or, or you know, what you have done or what you're doing is, you <clears> know, <throat> should, should eliminate all the good that you do. But <clears> just please be able to promote something. Yeah, that for is, sure. And, that that, and, 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 and that's all it is for me, really. Like, when I speak about this and when I talk about holding rappers accountable for it it's not so much like i expect people to to change the way they're living and stuff like that but it's like if this is if you promote what you promote and this is the lifestyle you promote then take accountability when stuff like this happens you know what i mean wear that heavy on your chest because you should the set because the thing is is that i would you know what i mean if i felt like i had contributed to the death of someone or, or something harmful to happen to someone I'd wear that on my chest. Yeah, okay. So, look like, at, this is the thing. What is, like, I don't know if you were about to do the same comparison that I was about to do, but, like, nah, look at, look not. at, look at Travis Scott with the whole yeah, Astro yeah, yeah. World thing. Yeah. It's like, where, you know, where is it different? It's way different because he promoted fucking to the, for them. And you told me this, you promoted. Yeah, but they do the no, same thing. No, I don't thing think it's the, different. Yeah. They I don't, do I don't the same thing in the lyrics. Yeah and, yeah. and the same thing too is with fucking Tentacion too. Like, you know, he's waving gets and shit in his videos and then he got shot. Mm. Like, you get what I mean? And yeah. It's, but then there's other rappers that do the same thing, but nobody's run up on them. Mm. Like, you know, there's like, like what, City Morgue, like they've got like, Mo- like and same with like what Griselda and shit. They talk about like drum barrels and shit, but they're not in their video clips. But nobody's running up on them. But then, sorry to go back to it. People run up on them. Benny got shot. Yeah, yeah, true. That's true. <laughs> oh, times. did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah but Conway got shot in shot in the back of the head. Yeah. yeah, but that wasn't when he was a rapper. No, Benny got shot when he was. A yeah, rapper. Benny got shot. Yeah, but you said like um, Conway got shot, but he got he didn't get shot when he was a rapper. But um, he was no, he was rapping. He was yeah, rapping. he just wasn't yeah. popping. Yeah, yeah, but you get what I mean. Like he's not on. Like their video clips aren't. They don't have like fucking drum barrels in their video clips. Yeah, but like, it's not even a, a visual thing. It's about what you say too. And I yeah, think but what what I'm what I'm saying is is like fucking like Tentacion like hey oh no but then going back to that like. Little pump and shit. It doesn't matter how you. It doesn't matter up. how you promote it, yeah, though, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah it's just like, what you promote is what you promote. Is what you promote. You promote it. Nah, yeah, I know what you guys are saying, but yeah, fuck gun violence. Yeah, bro, just violence in yeah, general. Violence, all types of. Violence. Honestly, bro, like, but with clout, with clout, you're gonna get something. Yeah, and that's the honestly, that's, that's just the real, nature. Bro. That's just the nature of the world that's we real, live bro. in, that's and real, bro. and unfortunately, um, this incident. You know, it wasn't clout. Isn't, well, it was it's, randoms. It's just not going to be the last one. No, it's going to keep going even after we're gone, bro. Yeah, for sure. Going. You know, and it, and it, and it's just ah, uh, man. Honestly, if there's anything that I can like can say in regards to this, bro, like there's legit more that I want to that I want to do than just talk about it. You know what I mean? It'll be dope to put on a show for yeah, bro. Because so is it not because of drill? 
It's, because it's not of entirely culture. because no, of drill. Like I'm not gonna. It's, it's, it's not even about who's at fault or who's to blame. It's about what it's, uh, what Bills wants to talk about is what can be done. What can we do? What what is something actionable that not just certain people do? What everyone like should try and make up to do to make an effort towards you know a better future. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or just to stop this from happening. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. Take accountability, but then and then you know have action toward it. Like, bro, it'd be dope to put on a show with the biggest influencers of this generation in regards to music and this culture. It'll be dope to put on a show where they promoting, you know, anti violence or anti knife violence or whatever. You know, it's and it's a. It's a far-fetched idea because for a lot of people, it'll hurt their image. For a lot of people, it means they have to stop talking about what they talk about. For a lot of people, it means they get looked at a certain way by other people or fans or their crew or their mates or whatever. But I just, man. What about a, what about a like, celebrity boxing match? Like, like, if they got beef, if they got beef, Everybody just puts up money and they just scrap it out. And then once it's done, it's done. And then whatever happens behind fucking closed doors, like that's their shit. Well, apparently, a few were supposed to be happening in the local <laughs> scene. No, but, but like know, that, I don't know if that's like you know. But you get what I mean. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you, I think but, it's. But you get what I mean, though. Like, like you could like we could easily like screw up a thing. Like you know, these two rappers are beefing. These two rappers are beefing. Let them let them have like a boxing match in like the middle of nowhere with no none of their friends. Let them scrap it out. Fucking um, two dudes pick them up in a in a fucking van. Take them to like a certain take them take them take them take them to a certain place and then they go back with it. No matter how much they beef, but but it's an end to it's it's bigger than rap beef, bro. Like after that, they can fucking do. You know what should happen, bro? bro? You know what should happen? This is what should happen. If two rappers are beefing, bro, and stuff like this keeps happening, kids kids keep getting killed and stuff. Those two rappers who are beefing should sit there and be like, you know what, bro? For the sake of never happen the next. Yeah, I know it'll never happen. And it's a far cry to ask, but that's, to me, that's the, the ultimate solution is, you know what, bro? For the sake of the youngins that are influenced by us, we need to squash this. Yeah, true that. And that's it. You know, and, and whatever way they can do that, will bro, that'll be the most empowering thing for young people to see. Like, oh, damn, like, it's really, shucks, it's that easy to sort out your issues. Yeah, talk about, like, grown men. But um, nobody wants to be grown up. Just, and, uh, some of them just keep acting the way they act, but you know. It's sad, bro. Like, yeah, all in all, it's just sad. But legit, man, I'd love to do something more than just constantly have talks about it because you know, so, something's got to change, bro. So you know, if we could put a show together or something, bro, just an event, something. It'll be hard. Anything, it'd be fine. It's a definitely a big one to unpack, and I feel like it's definitely going to be, you know, one of those things that's, you know, going to take time. But, you know, with a lot of people, you know, feeling the same sentiments as you and all of us, you know, hopefully, you know, there can be work and progress towards all of this, you know. Thanks. But, um, but yeah. Uh what else do we have in the topics? So we got a lot of note, please. Um, but yeah, this is reality, fun. bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. This, this is real <laughs> life. I mean, it is, but yeah. Um, Legit. Rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace. Absolutely. Rest in peace to the, to the brother. Huh. Um, I guess what we can do to finish it off um, is... You know, Drake's Drake's hinting that that there's a big announcement to make. When was he supposed to make that? Tomorrow. Yeah, let me let me play the clip real quick. Is that the one that um, we see in the 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 chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play it right now. Big announcement coming tomorrow. By the way, make sure you um check my um Instagram. Oh, sorry, Wednesday. Wednesday. (laughs) 
Why Big announcement more? coming Wednesday for the city. You don't have Appreciate a fucking, everybody. You don't have a fucking Jamaican accent. He's trying to fucking put something on, bro. Fuck him, G. That's how they talk in Toronto. No, he fucking doesn't talk like that, G. Dead ass. He's putting on a fucking accent, bro. Did you grow up with him? Yeah, I did. He's my cousin, G. <laughs> I've seen him since fucking day one. I seen him in Degrassi, bro. I was the one that fucking wheeled him in the wheelchair. You done? <laughs> Finish. Fuck him. No, he just, no because I couldn't pipe up when fucking Bills was talking real shit, so I got to pipe up about this fucking Bills shit. Go in the corner. I can't go, fucking go do the it, corner. Bro. Go in the corner. Huh? Go no, the I can't, bro. No, in, hey, the hey, no, 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 no. in the corner of the room. Huh? No, in the corner of the room. <laughs> go stay in the corner for a little bit. And then hey, come back. Hey, anyway, anyway, um, he sucks. <laughs> anyway, anyway, oh, anyway, anyway, um... Yeah, so Gene was talking about he thinks his scary hour is too... Well, my feeling is it's just going to be that OVO bit of OVO first. I yeah. can't wait for it. It will be interesting to see who he might have yeah, on OVO first because he does have big... Tour. He does always bring out big big acts for Tyler's it. Tyler's going to be the... Tyler. Jack Harlow. Tyler. It's I think Jack, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. I would, Tyler no. wouldn't surprise Tyler, me. Bro. Jack Harlow wouldn't surprise me. Tyler's going to be a surprise Future act. Future wouldn't surprise me. Dirk. Tyler's, Tyler's, Tyler's going to be a surprise act, bro. Dirk. Dirk. Nah, I don't know if he can. Kanye surprise, bro. Well, I'll go to Canada. Yeah, has he been out, out of the country? <laughs> I don't think he Kanye has surprise, been. bro. Maybe Cole. No, he's been out of the country. Yeah, but I don't. I, yeah, I don't know if Canada will take him because it's gonna be Canada's. He, where I was think Canada's in London. Oh, I can't remember, true. but I'm sure I seen him. True, true. Talking true. about yeah, like in Europe somewhere or something. It'll be Pusha T surprise surprise act. Pusha uh, T. I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye. Kanye, or, yeah. yeah. It's dead ass gonna, gonna, gonna be. It's gonna be. I can't. I can't. Real quick. Game, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Game. The game brought out Kanye West <laughs> at his concert. I seen a lot of people saying, "Do do we believe that that's Kanye West? <laughs> do you think that was Kanye West at the game's concert? No. <laughs> I don't. Bro. Honestly, knowing the game's track record, knowing the game's track record, that wasn't Kanye West. Bro. Straight up, knowing game's in, track record, that wasn't in, Kanye. In games, in games, drink champs. I didn't think it was the game up until he took his fucking balaclava off, bro. When I seen the game on on Drink Chance, I was like, "That's not game." Like, I mean, Bro, I knew it was game because they're not gonna do. They're not gonna. Not, yeah, they're not gonna say we're gonna when, think when of the, game. When yet. the Bella Clava is on, it it gets really hard to tell. It's like it's like it's like MF Doom all over again. He's done it fucking multiple times. Gee. He's had people beatbox and shit, and he's it's headline like, shows, bro. It's like when Kane became Diesel. G. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like what um fucking Undertaker's when Undertaker's brother came out. Kane. Kane. Yeah, but he, oh, there's two Undertakers. <laughs> that same yeah, thing. Yeah, the, 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 the fake, fake Taker. Under, yeah. Yeah, 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 see, see, I yeah, know things. I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's very interesting. I re- like. Nah, it, well, I think it, it was. Be, I think it was. Yeah, you but reckon? yeah, I think. Do you it was, actually? Yeah. yeah, I do. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's just no. Nah, there's just that thing in you that's like with games with track record, bro. You just never know. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> what shoes? What what shoes was Kanye wearing? Was he wearing the boots? <laughs> But that's it was the, YG. They're the, they're the easiest. <laughs> like, <laughs> for right now, low key was YG. For right now, in this year, the easiest, like the easiest thing, would just be to be, like if you do the boots. It's like the, like Kanye's made it easier. Yeah, to but which boots? Him. Him. Yeah, he which is. boots were they? Were they the Balenciaga joints or were they the the Yeezy joints? Bro, if they're did the Balenciaga you see? joints, that's you fucking have to Kanye. watch the video. Did you the see? I'm not gonna fucking watch the video. Did Fuck you see game. Offset? Um, oh, bro, dancing in his break Balenciaga, his, break his crops? fucking ankle. <laughs> bro, he he walks down the steps. Nah, but he doesn't even break his ankle, bro. It's because the thing's so big. Yeah, but he when he walks it. down the step, it, it like bent. goes sideways like that, and so it his bent. foot's in it like that. It was bent, but he walked away like it was sweet yeah. as. But he hurt himself. Nah, like his ankle was sweet, is what I'm saying. Like his foot hit the ground flat, but the whole shoe like went side. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it, yeah, it just there went is sideways. Certain, yeah, but there I've is those certain slides. shoes that make your 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 feet roll either in or out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sure. because the shoe's so massive, yeah. like, the bottom of it was so huge, his foot was half on a step, half off it. Yeah. But so I've when he stepped down, it like, the whole shoe just went bink. I've, I've had slides that were, like, yeah. I've had slides that were super thick, and then, like, I fucking, like, hit it wrong, and I fucking nearly broke my ankle. Gee, do you remember there were similar boots in, um, 
was it intermediate? The B- Gee, B- 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 B-52s, bro. Maybe it's just your hat. And the, what and do, you the mean? <laughs> do you remember when girls used to wear popes, bro? And they're the, <laughs> bro, they're the fattest they soles in like big silver buckles, on, bro. They were huge, bro. They were huge. I'm going to marry a bitch Gee. that wears B-52s Man. with big belt buckles. B-52s, B-52s. <laughs> I'm going to marry a bitch that wears that They had the massive silver shit. badge yeah. on the back yeah, gate. Fuck. Bro, bro, bro those are school th- shoes, yo. My dad bought me a pair. He's like, I am not wearing that. You better yeah. get back to the shop and get me some chucks. Yeah, bro. I remember my parents <laughs> bought me... <laughs> My parents bought me some school shoes, bro. They stayed in my closet the whole yes. time, bro. Moved houses and everything, bro. Those things came with us, went back in the closet. Crazy. Yeah. Well, then next year, Machiavelli. <laughs> 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 the Machiavellis, yeah. bro. Swap Honestly, them. I probably would have rather wore the hey. Machiavellis to school than wear those things, I, I bro. Think I, that, swear. I think that's a perfect f- full circle moment for this podcast episode. So we might finish. We, we started yeah, out with Tupac and we ended out with the the, the Machiavellis. Yeah. Rest in peace, Tupac. The Rest Mac- in peace Tupac. to the um the young man that passed away. Hey, rest in peace too Shout to out. um to Bryce. Here not it. Um, shout out my bros, Buys and Kips, the old man. Yeah. Um, rest in peace to anyone who's watching. If you've lost a loved one or whatever. Yeah. Condolences. Your thoughts and prayers and condolences out to everyone. And now that brings us to our segment in rotation. <laughs> hey. So um. Hey, she do better than um, the fucking sound effect. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Bane, what's been in your rotation for the past? I mean, it doesn't have to be a week for you, I guess, because it's just in general. What's general? Been, yeah. surely, um, surely Bane. Just, uh, beats, you know, an artist or an uh, album or... Probably two artists. Two yeah. artists, yeah. I've got Brent. Brent. Brent Fires, yeah. Brent yeah. Fire, that album was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that one. And then there's this local chick, man. Local sister, her name's um, Tali Sosene. Okay. Yeah. She's fine, man. Her song, you? Moment. Okay, dope. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, there man. it is. There it is. The first one to say, uh, I don't know if we have we done other local artists in the um, rotation? I think Gene has. I think Gene has. Gene has. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, yeah kids I think yeah. you all have. We didn't make this like a, a, a clip that we'd put out. That's my fault. Um, yeah, we should have. Yeah, we should. Um, Bills, what's been in your rotation? Um, I've been listening to heaps of Kirk Franklin. Like heaps of old school Kirk Franklin. Nice. Shout out to the Gospel Goat. Nice. Mm. That's insane. <laughs> what you got in your? What you got in your? Fire? This is his favorite bro. part of the podcast, by the way. Bro, Erica Badu G. True, nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm on nice. that. Like, I, I found, I, I, I don't know if I said, I can't remember if I said it um, last week, but I'm on um, Green Tea Ping, and she's like super fire. But then I was on her like radio, and it came off like obviously the fucking queen. Um, Erica Badu, but there's all these other artists too, and like, yeah, just being on that shit, just being on that like super mellow buzz, other than like Slayer, but yeah, nice, yeah. Mine's Brent Fires' new album Wasteland, and and the Burner Boy album. Oh yeah, because that's kind of what Boy. took me away from listening to the West Side Gun album. Yeah, because yeah, I, I was went listening to, to Burner Boy. Then, after yeah, I to yeah. The once I listened, one like Burner, Boy yeah, the Burner Boy and the uh, Brent Fires. Like they're both like, you just put it on play. Yeah. I've been mean, listening to French Montana, but too the I new album. To that last yeah, week. What was that like? I like it. Eh? It's good. It's good. I like the production, bro. Yeah, the song's the different. Eh? Was it? Wasn't all Harry? Yeah. Wasn't it all Harry yeah. Fraud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. the Benny song's different. Eh? From the single to like the album. What do you mean? So like you know when they, he released the album, Benny, the Benny song was released as like a single mm. and then they changed single the before. beat and then the beat's like different on the album. I wonder if it's sample issues. I showed you that. Oh, you did show me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you're like, I don't know. No, because I thought you meant again. Yeah, like yeah, a change. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so I was sorry, like, oh. Yeah, yeah, see? Do you know why? Yeah, that nah. It, it might have been sample. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, sample issues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably exactly what it was. Yeah, it would have been sample issues. Yeah. But yeah, it's a dope album, bro. Thank you, sir. Well, thanks for joining us, Bane 4K Thank in you the building. Thank you, you know, me, brother. you're always welcome <laughs> one. I do that all the time, I swear. Like that, eight. Sorry for these three guys. <laughs> you know. yeah, thanks, oh, trying to, trying thanks to, Bane. Trying to thank Bane for being a thanks guest Bane. on our podcast. Thanks, Bane. Up the Maroons. Up the Shout Let's out go, baby. Shout out, Bane, Bane 4K. Maroons. Finally, you're on the podcast, Yes, Mike. sir. We've yeah, been yeah. waiting for you to come on here, so yeah, welcome back anytime. Yeah, no, for sure. And we'll definitely do an interview with you. 
for an episode as well coming up. Yeah. If if we weren't if we weren't uh, you know, being held held up yeah. watching the, the last thirty minutes of what's being called of the, the best game in forty two years. Yeah. Forty two years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, they needed someone else to be doing this. Con- it's oh, just the way blues, too new. South Wales. The Blues, the blues have been so brave. So, one so brave. Gene. <laughs> Ke- Keegan's gonna edit all of this out and just keep with that whole. New- this new- by the way, Keegan's the only New South Wales blues. He's gonna, he's gonna world. edit all of it, and all yeah, he's gonna have he's in gonna it is the Blues yeah. are so brave. Um, <laughs> Gene, Gene gave something we needed. Oh, sorry, Gene's not here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what yes, you Levi's got it. Hey, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, follow us on all platforms. Yeah, and we out. Peace.